Hey guys, this is Corey with Funtown RV of Amarillo, and today we're going to take a look at the shortest member of the Montana High Country series. This is the 2024 Montana High Country by Keystone, model 295RL. This triple slide rear living couples fifth wheel comes in at 11,700 pounds as we see it here today, and it's going to be 34 feet 11 inches in overall length. Now I'll put a link in the video description to the price of this beautiful fifth wheel and all the specifications. So if you missed something uh, from a little bit ago, you can go back and check that or view the price at any time. But if you love RVs as much as I do and you wanna learn all about them, regardless of if you're looking to purchase right now or not, you may wanna stick around because I've got some really cool and really unique videos coming out in the near future. So if you enjoy this one, if you could do me a favor hit that like button down below and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell i would love to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2024 that's a goal i've kind of set for myself that way um just yeah just a just a goal i've set for 2024 so all right guys let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside all right guys so we're on the inside of the 2024 montana high country Model 295. And one thing I always like to point out anytime I get to get into a Montana is just their gorgeous interiors. They do a bang up job with just making them look the part of a super high end luxury fifth wheel. And they are a super high end luxury fifth wheel, but some of them, in my opinion, just don't, they don't look it. And I, I think anything in, with the Montana on the side of it looks the part. So you've got great window coverage on your campsite. So you get to look out at your campsite, not your neighbors who may be doing some questionable things on their campsite. Um, <clears throat> hint, hint, wink, wink. But uh, over here, you've got your viewing window in the entry door. Nice big windows as we come around. All of these windows are going to have the roller blackout shades. And all of them open up in some capacity for airflow. Now, if we start over here with your dinette in your main living room slide. So one of the things I always like to point out is there's no carpet in a Montana high country or a full-blown Montana. So the Montana high countries are using the pontoon boat style uh, marine grade woven flooring, which I kind of like because it doesn't bunch up as much as some of the other materials that they're using. You have four chairs. Now they all are fixed. They don't have storage in them, but uh, I really do like the fact that uh, you do get that. Now this does have the extension leaf, as you can see there, and I did that one-handed. So uh, it's real easy to put out, just to give you a little more elbow room. Now, if we look down underneath, you can see there's no, uh, there's no knee knockers or anything like that that you're gonna hit your legs on if you are a little taller. Uh, so that is one thing that I really do like. Now, as we come back over here, this is gonna be your theater seats. So this is more of a love seat with the removable kind of pontoon boat style uh, center console there. Now these, let's see. Yeah, these are going to be power recline. So just keep that in mind as far as if you are boondocking, um, that is one kind of a minor inconvenience is that these uh, are power recline. Now, if we take a look at the sofa across the back, this is a trifold sleeper sofa. So as you can see in the video that pops up, this will turn out to a really nice sized bed. You are gonna have household outlets on both sides and USB plugs on both sides. And if we get down here just a little bit closer, you can see that they have the fast charging USB uh, type C plugs as well. Montana does use in-floor ducted heating, and they do that because it's the most efficient heating uh, 
ducting system out there. So you might have to clean the ducts once every you know six months or whatever, but um, you get a lot more airflow out of these. Now, if we look up, you are directly across from the entertainment center. So you've got your 5,000 BTU electric space heater fireplace right there, plus an absolute jumbotron of a TV. Now that is on a swing arm mount. And then if we get up a little bit closer, you do have a JBL stereo system. So this is AM, FM, Bluetooth, and it will control the inside and outside speakers. Now this is all pressed membrane thermofoil countertops right here on your uh, entertainment counter. In your main kitchen area, they will be full solid surface. You do have the 110 volt ceiling fan, plus you've got your main 15K AC right here. And this uses a residential AC filter, plus you have the racetrack ducted AC runs. And so what that does is the air will be circulating around constantly. And um, it, they also use, let's see, here's one right here. So you can see this is their new Blade Pure AC duct. And it is, uh, basically what it's designed to do is pull more air down rather than leaving it up there in the AC duct, which is pretty cool. I'm all for that. Again, solid surface countertops. You just have a ton of, ex, uh, you know, accent lights, the pendant lights as well. Um, these things light up like a Christmas tree, but I especially love those white beams above the slide outs. I think it just gives it a really high end look. Now these, uh, these are using the uh, one piece uh, plywood floor decking. It's a 5 8 inch plywood floor decking, 3 8 inch fully walkable roof. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about construction on the outside. But let's go ahead now and crack open all this storage so you can see that. So first thing I want to start off with is the storage above your rear hide bed sofa. Now this is not stuff you're, you know, you're not going to put stuff you're going to use up here every day, but it still is decent sized overhead storage. Now all of these cabinets are going to be pocket screwed and glued cabinetry, which is a, it, it's a very high end way to build RV cabinets. Now they still have the little sticker wrap on them like most everything is going to have uh, just to save a little bit of weight. So now over here, you have some great storage above your entertainment center. That's nice and deep. And then even behind your TV, you have some, uh, you know, even just a little bit of storage back there, which is really nice. And you can see that again, that is a swing arm mount. Now you do have a couple of drawers. I know the TV's kind of in the way of that one, but this will give you a little bit better idea. And all these two are soft close, uh, or well, at least that one was anyway. You've got, hang on, I wonder. Nope, they are not soft close. I stand corrected and I'm willing to admit when I am wrong. So good storage there. You've got a little bit of storage up here, plus your microwave plug, and you've got your uh, matching storage on that side. Now these, love this lighter color too. Outlets on both sides of your stove, plus you've got your microwave, which is a 30 inch residential. Now that is not a convection microwave, just uh, so you're aware, that's in a full blown Montana. Again, solid surface countertops. You've got a great amount of storage right there. Pots and pans drawer, or maybe for like a broiler pan or something. Nice big old oven for pizzas, casseroles, things like that. Plus you've got the three burner cooktop with the cast iron grates. I know some brands are using a four burner, but you can space your pots and pans out a little better with the three burner stove, in my opinion. And then you've got matching storage right there. Now over here, this does have the 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. A 16 cubic foot 12 volt fridge is an available option. Um, but this particular one has the resi fridge. And then you've got your, uh, you've got your 
freezer trays with the ice maker down there as well. Um, it's still taped up since it's fairly new from the manufacturer, so um, didn't necessarily want to <laughs> undo all that tape on camera. But let's go ahead now. Let me open up all the storage on the uh, on the end wall and also the island. All right, guys, and I think oh, more exit lights that I conveniently just uh, found the switch for. Um, so you do have some exit lights right there. You've got four full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers right here. So those go all the way down to the floor. Power outlets on both ends of the island. You have a nice farm style sink with the high rise pull out sprayer faucet. Dual sink top covers. Spot for a trash can. And then this little divider right here, that is actually where your sink top covers will sit in transit. That way they don't fall off and break or something. Now over here, you're going to have some good storage here. The reason this is blocked off, this is where your control panel is from the other side that we'll take a look at here in just a moment. Great spot for uh, a coffee maker. You've got a plug right there, plus one here for some phone chargers, two more drawers, and some good storage for some things down there. Now, no kitchen is complete without a pantry. And you've got a pretty dang good one right here. So, great space there. Um, I wish they had like a motion sensor light in there. Oh, there it is. Okay. I just didn't go in there far enough, apparently. Um, so, great storage space there. And, yeah. Every, every big fifth wheel definitely needs a pantry. Now, over here, this is going to be your thermostat for your main air, air, uh, air conditioner and furnace. And then back here, I love that they're doing physical buttons. So you've got buttons for your slide outs, your awnings, lights. There's no digital pad that you have to use. That's just one of my pet peeves. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. If they give me both, I'm okay with that. But uh, like in a Cougar, you're forced to use the touch panel. And then you've got your ceiling fan control, your inverter control for that uh, residential fridge, and your max air vent fan controls, which I conveniently forgot to talk about and show you that you do have a rain censoring max air fan right there. Now, before we get on to the upper deck, couple last things. You've got your breakers and fuses right here and you've got your central vacuum cleaner right there. Plus no carpet on the steps. You've got a pegboard, key, uh, key racks, and a spot to put some coats. Plus you've got a handrail to get up to the upper deck. So stepping into the expansive master bathroom. So let me get this door out of the way. I love that this swings open into the bathroom. So you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. If we go ahead and take a seat right there, you can see I've got plenty of room on both sides for my shoulders. Now I will say this cabinet, it hits me right on the back of the neck. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but you still have plenty of leg room, as you can see there. Now, speaking of this cabinet, let's go ahead and open that up. So you've got a little bit of storage there, almost like a medicine cabinet. I almost wish they would just not do that and raise the cabinet up and make it a little bit smaller. Now, this is a pet peeve of mine. In a 60 plus thousand dollar fifth wheel, why are we doing a four inch fart fan, as I call them? It just, that doesn't fly with me. It, give me the bigger fan. I know that that's supposed to be something that separates the Montana but from the Montana high country, but it, I'm going to get off on a tangent here. I'm just, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> and yes, it's a complete and intended pun that I'm not a fan of talking about that fan when they could have used the bigger fan. So big medicine cabinet with the mirror light switch here. You've got your GFI protected outlet, pressed membrane, thermal foil style countertops. You've got plumbing access or spot for a trash can. Three drawers right there. And then over here in your slide out, you've got some deep linen cabinet space. And if you do want to add a combination washer dryer, you could do that. 
Or if it were me, what I would do is just use it for extra storage because you can never have too much storage in these fifth wheels. So you can also get to the bedroom. It does have a slide out, uh, sliding pocket door, but just because of the camera angles, we're gonna go this way. So right here, you've got your light switch, your thermostat for your second 15K AC. Still got the same type of uh, residential filter like that. Now you've got your CPAP storage right here, plus you've got the bigger side stand on this side. Uh, I kind of almost wish they would lengthen the trailer about another six inches. So you have one of those on that side. Um, but that's just, again, personal preference. Nice big storage. There is that central vacuum uh, hose kit. Over here, you've got a nice counter. Six full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Just open a couple of them for you. Emergency exit, you've still got the roller shades. More hanging closets on both sides of the bed, plus some more shelf space, or on both sides of the front here, excuse me. More USB and household outlets. Nice big old front windshield. You've got two oversized drawers here. Little step up on this side of the bed too, uh, just so you're aware. Some storage space there and some more hanging closets right there. So, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the interior tour of the 295RL. Let's go ahead and close these slide outs and see what you can get to with the slide outs closed. Okay, I messed up. I forgot to even talk about the shower. So you've got a radius shower here. It's one piece of fiberglass. If we take a step in here, and I go ahead and shut the doors because I always like to do that on radius showers. And this, as we flip this around, I've got plenty of room here. Plenty of elbow room. Um, this is not bad. And then you do have the seat if you need to, you know, put your foot up there to, you know, shave your legs or anything like that. But for the sake of being complete and also uh, just because I completely forgot and it's important to a lot of people. I want to go ahead and make this edit and make sure I talked about it. So with the slide outs closed, you can kind of snake your way through here. Now, if you are a little bit uh, bigger, um, you probably would need to put that slide out out, but you still can get to your refrigerator, both sides and the freezer. And they did that because of that countertop extension there. Um, that was just a brilliant move by Montana. Now, if we go up here, you can see, you can get to the bathroom. You can get in here, do your thing. And then you can get to the bedroom. So I'm gonna pass this on the travel test. So now we're back on the outside of the 2024 Keystone Montana High Country 295 RL. And this is just a gorgeous painted automotive grade front cap with the inset windshield. You do have Keystone's patented hitch vision, which is the mirror right here. Plus you do have the road armor pin box and road armor suspension, which we'll see here in just a little bit. You can put in a 5,500 watt own end generator. If you do want to, there's plenty of room there. You got your inverter there, plus your Dragonfly Energy uh, lithium batteries, battery disconnects, all that good old stuff. And you can of course get to it from that door. Solar charge controller, all that good stuff is right there. Easy to get to. Now this does have a four point electric auto leveling system. That's one of the couple minor differences between a full Montana and a Montana high country. Outside speakers, as you can see right up there, you have two power awnings with LED light strips in them. Behind this first door, we've got a propane tank. And then you've got your pretty decent sized pass-through storage. It is on a drop frame, so you've got tons of height. This is a 
four season coach with he going down here into the um, uh, into the pass through storage. I don't know why I just blanked on that. This right here, this switch, you do have a strip light there. Cable and power for an outside TV. And you do have a removable panel to get to some of your plumbing fixtures back there. You're prepped for the strut arms. And then you've got this little catch here that will release that. You've got your slam latch doors. This does have 12 volt heat pads on all the holding tanks. And then as you can see, this is a fully enclosed four stair underbelly. Montana's have and or are and have been zero to 100 degree tested, rated and proven since 2004. You've got the four step, more ride step above steps with the larger entry assist handle. Um, I would even go for a size bigger than this. Black glass entry door, looking mighty fancy. And then you are riding on Goodyear tires with the Road Armor suspension package. Those are load range G tires, by the way. You do have the second power awning with LED light strips. This particular one has the normal windows. You can get dual pane frameless windows as an option, should you wish to. There's a hole there. I almost just tripped and died. 3,000 pound rated towing hitch with the four flat connector. That's 300 pound of vertical weight for your hitch weight. Ladder to get up on top of the fully walkable TPO roof. Now, this is mainly for maintenance, so you can sweep off the tops of your slides, check your seals, things like that. Your backup camera prepped, all LED tail and marker lights. You do have the reverse travel lighting as well which is, believe it or not, it's very uncommon. You can also option in slide toppers and you're prepped and ready for those should you wish to do that. 50 amp service right back here. And I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but there's your four point electric auto level that does have the hitch height memory on it too. So basically if you don't, touch anything else except for auto level after you unhitch it'll go back to where you hit auto level from 16 gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition which i didn't even know they made those until this morning and then you've got your docking station so you've got your uh your dump valves your low point drains fresh water city water black tank flush cable satellite hookups outside shower winterize uh, or hot water heater bypass solar prep plugs all that good stuff is right here in a heated compartment and then you have another one of your gate valves right there. Plus you are gonna have your dump right here. It's not underneath a slide out, which is really nice. So there's the other side of your pass-through storage. One more propane tank right here. And then this little guy is where your auto level is. So if you're hitting the button, you can easily see your hitch and see what where the truck is in relation. That's an underrated feature. I don't know of very many other brands that are doing that. So, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2024 Keystone Montana High Country 295 RL. If you're interested in this travel, or this fifth wheel, not a travel trailer, I don't know what I was thinking there. I'll put a link to pricing in the description below, plus all the specs in case you missed it earlier. But remember at Funtown RV, we don't do any of those pesky hidden dealer fees. And we have the best products, best selection, and the best prices around. So come see us at Funtown RV very soon. All right, guys. Again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. We greatly appreciate you taking the time to view this product feature. And uh, again, I hope to see you very soon, or at least hear from you in the comment section. Take care.